please welcome quiz master Dan Frankenberger. Now, Spencer, this is a game we play called Stump the Humps, and I am the world's leading expert on mobster movies, and Dan has been quizzing me, and I've been kicking people's you-know-what. Nobody knows more about The Godfather than I do. Nobody knows more. Well, The Sopranos, maybe. But this is going to be a tough one. I think you may be able to beat me in this one. I really do. How many questions do you have? I have 10 questions, and I will say that this edition of Stump Thump is brought to you by Valley Vox Theater. Ah. On Saturday, March 26th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight, uh, Valley Vox Theater will be screening the 1969 mod political thriller Z from director, director Costa Gavras. Yeah. And we'll have a question and answer with our returning guest, uh, Professor Adnan Hussein, Mopeds, uh, Mopeds Park for Free, and contact Valley Vox for a free Zoom link at Valley Vox on Twitter or uh, email valleyvoxtheater at gmail.com. Z, they're, they're right. spray painting it on Russian tanks as we speak. So, all right, let me put some money in the kitty. Uh, hang on for one second. I have a feeling I'm not going to do well here. The, the cat's about to have a feeling. <laughs> We're putting money in the uh, kitty, Spencer. How are you feeling? You have COVID, right? I'm feeling fine. I had a scratchy throat the first day and I've had no symptoms the four days since then. So I'm and, doing right. and did you get a booster? I did about three months ago. So in good shape. Okay. You, you tested positive or you have the symptoms? I tested positive. But you don't have really any symptoms? Too. Not really, no. A little bit of a scratchy throat, that, that's been all. Good. Let's see. Get the booster. Okay, ready, Dan? Yep. So this is the Mr. Rogers quiz. Um, I stumbled upon uh, this idea because Fred Rogers' birthday was this week. Uh, he's born March 20th, 1928. And he was the host of the show, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. We have 10 questions here. So the first well, one I is... Say, I, I'm pretty good at knowing how old people are. So I'm going to guess that if he were alive, he'd be 93. Or well, 93. you're... You're a mathematician as well. Well, what do you been, 93 or 94? Uh, four. 94. Okay. Fred Rogers enters his television studio house singing what song? This is multiple choice. If you're happy and you know it. Who, 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 for, who's, who, Spencer uh, has to answer this, and then I have to say agree or disagree. Okay. So Spencer is first. Uh, Fred Rogers enters his television studio house singing what song? If you're happy and you know it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Won't you be my neighbor or won't you be Mein Kampf? <laughs> <laughs> won't you be my neighbor? I am going to agree. You're both right. Here you go. <laughs> so it's, I get one point. And Spencer gets nothing. No, it's tied 1-1. One, one. Pay attention, Spencer. <laughs> Nobody audits me. So I hate Pay you. attention to this game. I cheated this. Question number two. What is the neighborhood that you are taken by trolley to every week? Is it the land of milk and honey? Oh, and now, I, I, I have to answer this. You're answering first, Mr. Oh. Feldman. Now, I should not be able to answer any of this stuff. Okay. Okay. Good. Go ahead. I did see the documentary, which I loved. I, I, I've never seen an audience as spellbound during a documentary. It was riveting. Uh, did you see the documentary they made about him? No, I, I missed it, but I saw the, the fictional movie with Tom Hanks, I think. Right, right. Did you watch Mr. Rogers growing up? I did as a, as a little kid, yeah. My parents wouldn't let me watch Mr. Rogers. Because the show wasn't on. We just lived next door to him, and he used to leave his shades open, and I wasn't allowed to watch him come out of the shower. Uh, I grew up in Pittsburgh. Go ahead. I didn't grow up in Pittsburgh. That's not 
Dave is trying to put himself in a dominant position against you, Spencer. Don't yeah. let it uh, psychologically yeah. affect you. Question number two, what is this neighborhood <laughs> that you are taken by trolley to every week? Is it the land of milk and honey, the neighborhood of make-believe, never, never land, or the brambles? <laughs> the brambles. Uh, I'm going to say the land of make-believe. I agree with that one. Two to two. Correct. <laughs> I'm winning three to one. <laughs> uh, Spencer, what is the name of the mailman? Is it Mr. McHuggins, Mr. McTouchy, Mr. McFeely, or Mr. Feldman? I'm going to go with Mr. McHuggins. I'm going to agree. You're both wrong. It's Mr. McFeely. Hmm. <laughs> It's Mr. McFeely. Yes, uh, Fred Rogers uh, had uh, McFeely as his middle name. His, his mother had multiple last names because uh, she was a foster child. And this is the mailman? Yep, the mailman was Mr. McFeely. Mr. McFeely. Yep. I believe he was African-American, is that correct? That is incorrect. Okay. Okay. Number four. Uh, David is first. Who did Mr. Rogers always feed on the show? Was it the mailman, fish, a puppy, or the captive in the basement? <laughs> uh, the fish. Agreed. Correct. The fish. It's tied. Question number five, which fashion item of Mr. Rogers from the show now resides at the Smithsonian Institute? Was it his sneakers, his sweater, his scarf, or his ball gag? <laughs> I, I answer this one first, right? Yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll go with the sweater. I'm going to agree, but he did used to tie his shoelaces, his sneakers, but I'm going to go with sweater. Yeah, that is correct. That is double correct. This is a tight one. <laughs> What's the score? Four to four? Uh, that was the fifth question, and you both got one wrong, and you've agreed every time. So, yep, four to okay. four. Question number six out of ten. What days of the week? Were the king, queen, and prince named after in the neighborhood of Make Believe? This is me. Was I answer this, right? Yep. Was it Friday, Saturday, and Tuesday? Was it Wednesday, Sunday, and Tuesday? That was Friday. Right. That was Apollonia before her car blew up. The car bomb. Yep. Okay. <laughs> was it Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, or was it Sunday, Fun Day, Er Day? Give me the first one. Friday, Saturday, and Tuesday was the first one. Say that again. Friday, Saturday, and Tuesday. Okay, and give me the correct answer. Okay. Oh, I thought I could trick you. I'm going to go with yeah. uh, the first one, number one. I agree. You're both correct. This is... The king was King Friday the 13th, and on the castle, if you pay close attention, was written XIII, -I -I, which is 13 in Roman numerals. The queen was Sarah Saturday, and uh, her last name was only spoken one time on the show, and their son's name was Prince Tuesday. And those were, were puppets. Okay. Fred Rogers started as a puppeteer. Uh, question number seven. What kind of videos did Mr. Rogers watch on the show? <laughs> <laughs> only fans. <laughs> yeah, fan only, fan only video. It's a great people make things. The documentary. There, it's. <laughs> so I saw it in the village, and it was all kids, you know, watching it and reliving their childhood. And Johnny Carson had done a parody of Mr. Rogers, and his. He opens the door in the parody and this beautiful buxom blonde 
walks in and he goes, mm, can you say hooker? Sure you can, neighbors. And I effing lost it. And it really hurt Fred Rogers' feelings. And he had a, he came on the show and Johnny apologized. But I thought that, that was the funniest thing. The sweetest man in the world. And Johnny, can you say hooker? It was just so inappropriate. And Carson had to apologize. You're making me, me feel worse than what's about to come. Okay. <laughs> What kind of videos is, did Mr. Rogers watch on the show? Was it? Who's up? Who's who's first? Uh, this it's, is Spencer. Yes. Yep. Was it how people make things? <laughs> Words in different languages. <laughs> Animals, or snuff films? <laughs> I was going to say snuff films. Um, I don't remember this one too well, but I can. It, it was. How people make things, animals. What was the, the the second one? The second one was words in different languages. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go with how people make things. Well, the the safest thing for me to do since it's tied is to agree. And that right? is correct. How people make things. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's my strategy. I don't know the answer. Your strategy is to avoid snuff films, I would assume. Okay. I, I, would watch, I would watch PG snuff films. There was no cursing in them. So it was, the whole family could watch. Go ahead. Question number eight, David is first. To stay in shape, what kind of exercise did Mr. Rogers do? And you broke up, I'm sorry. To stay in shape, what kind of exercise did Mr. Rogers do? Was it weightlifting? It, I'm up. Yep, you're first. Oh, I know the answer to this question. Weightlifting? Jogging, swimming, or running trains? Uh, swimming. He was a great swimmer. Are, are you saying on the show or in real life? Or does it not matter? Well, in real oh. life, he was a great swimmer. I'll agree with David on that, yeah. That is correct. It is swimming. This is... Uh... This is question eight, right? Uh, up, that was question eight. This is upcoming question nine. Okay. So this is eight, eight, eight. Okay. And Spencer's first. Which celebrity prior to becoming famous worked on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood as one of the floor crew doing setup and teardown of the set and operating the trolley? Was it Bruce Willis, Michael Keaton, Harrison Ford, or Cookie Monster? I am going to go with Harrison Ford. I think I'm going to win this one. Just through the process of elimination. Uh, Michael Keaton is from Pittsburgh. So I'm going to go with Michael Keaton. The answer is Michael Keaton. That is correct. I, I didn't know the answer, but I do know that Michael Keaton is from Pittsburgh, so it, it, although Harrison Ford was a carpenter. I did not know that. Okay, so I'm winning. The only thing I knew is that uh, my joke answer, I didn't uh, become a pig in this one, so that's good. <laughs> Cookie Monster was pretty innocent. And, I, and Spencer, <laughs> I'm going to win because it's your turn, and if I agree with you. It's, it's except, your turn. Except it's your turn. Yeah. So Spencer has to not agree with you no matter what. Oh, wait, wait, I right. thought I was. Spencer oh. went first, so you're last. Oh, oh, so, oh, okay. Okay. Ooh. This is. This you is... gave away some strategy. I know. Fred Rogers leaves his television studio house at the end of each episode singing what song? It's such a good feeling. Pop goes the weasel. You are my sunshine or wet ass pussy. Which is something Dr. Harriet Fraud has talked about on this show. You have. You did not, right? I'm not making a joke. We've talked about that song. Wet ass pussy? 
don't think What's so. What's your language? Yes, we did. You oh, were yeah, a... that was Cardi B. Yes. yes. Right. We talked. I don't know if that was the title, but I do remember the song. Yes. Uh, give, give, I'm sorry. My uh, I apologize to my listeners for the language. What You're going to make me say it again. You're going to punish me. No, no, you don't have to say that bullshit. <laughs> Uh, what, what what are the choices? Choices are. <laughs> this is how this is how he would say good night. Yep, uh, leaving leaving the episode. Uh, it's such a good feeling. Pop goes the weasel. You are my sunshine or wet ass pussy. You are my sunshine was written by Huey Long, Huey Long's successor, I believe. It was a, the governor, it was written by the governor of Louisiana who came after Huey Long. I'm going to say no to You Are My Sunshine. What is uh, the first one? It's such a good feeling. And what's the other one? Pop Goes the Weasel? Pop Goes the Weasel. Uh, Pop Goes the Weasel was written by Anthony Weiner. Uh, I'm going to go with It's Such a Good Feeling. I know the strategy is to disagree, but I, I also know David got that one right. So uh, I'll have to agree to keep my score as high as it could be. You're, you're both right. That is correct. Which means that's it, right? Yeah, that's question number 10. David wins nine to eight, I believe. Nine to eight. eight. It was a good <laughs> game, Spencer. Thank you for having me. Thanks for that. I, I, I have to say, I have to say that beating you, it, it feels good. I, I wish I could say I was embarrassed, but uh, I'm really glad I won. I know that's wrong to say that you're a guest, but uh, I'm really glad I kicked your ass. And it was a landslide, Dan, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a one-point landslide on the show <laughs> that ended before he was born. Yep, you, you whipped his ass. Uh, Spencer, how do people contact you? Uh, I think you posted my, my Twitter in the chat. That's probably the best way. It's a, I believe my Twitter is Spence C. Spence. Let me find my actual handle. I don't, yeah, Spence C. Spence 11. I'll put that in the chat here. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, that's probably the best way. Or, or to go to... Uh, mycorrhiza.digital, that's the, the name of the, the advertising website for the political ads. Um, one of those is probably the best way. Fantastic. Well, please come back. Uh, you're a good loser. You really are. <laughs> Thank you for having me, David. I, I respect you, you lost with uh, equanimity. Uh, this is great. Dr.